stop. What's up, guys? David here with Sabo Gaming, bringing you the Walking Dead Game of the Year edition. Again, it covers the complete full season. I'm still on episode one, but here we go. Cutscene here to start the game. I'll start this part. You guys remember last episode we had um, met up with these guys in the truck, just escaped their neighborhood by uh, barely by a couple zombies. Now we're arriving at hey, their Sean, barn. I'm See what happens here. On home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Um, we just need some help. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Well, you don't say much. Wish I had five just like you. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Out of Atlanta, home. Let's go down to Atlanta. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Police officer, let's go with nobody. Nobody. Is that so? Yeah, it is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there, and we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Right. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Dead people walking. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. Oh, 
All right then. It smells like shit. Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. Wanted to see your reaction to that. I missed my mom and dad. I'm dead, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Now we finally get to sleep. Been talking to people, been cutscenes, which I kind of apologize for. It's basically been a movie. <laughs> Not much of a video game. much video game playing to be honest with you guys just a lot of cutscenes they're letting it go episode after episode hey get up <sighs> what an itchy well you slept in a barn little lady lucky you don't have spiders in your hair <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away huh how many times you gotta explain it's not, not? dad Babe Lee I'm Kenny dad we're in the middle of fence there's a tractor and everything we better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Doc? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Finally, I to control him again. It's about time. Enough talking for now. Let's talk to Clementine. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. That's cool. Be sure to check in with everyone you've met so far, so we'll talk to the this guy over here, too. Hey there, uh, Kenny. What's the plan? How's your son? So, what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Tractor back there, let's go check them out. See what they have to say. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, it doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. 
It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Sometimes, it's kill or be killed. I guess. I don't think it'd seep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Um, not too close with my family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Head over to the barn, see what the guy's dad wants. Talk to him. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked it. Till your boy yeah. found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No family. I had a betta fish on my desk at the university. I hope someone remembered to feed him. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? What are you getting at? Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Mind your own business. Mind your own business. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. Oh, and trying to be less of an asshole would serve you just fine. Does not sound good. Sound Go! like Sean. I'll get my gun! Man. Ah! That did not sound good. Ah! stitch you up. It, it almost... It almost got me, man. It, 
They tried to save me. Damn right I did. I know you're doing I help so. out though. I. Oh god, now Sean's dead. Damn. That's brutal. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. Kenny's fault. Yeah, stop under the bus. It's Kenny's fault. If Kenny had helped, his son would be alive. And that's why I wish you were dead for the rest of my life. Please, I'll just go. Get out and never come back. Kind of feel like a douche now for throwing Kenny under the bus. But he did let Sean die. Like he looks like Clementine. She you say. got that ride to make it if you want it. He's gonna offer me a ride after I just threw him under the bus. Not even tonight, though. Well, that was the first character we got to know. We just watched him die. Sean, uh, rough way to go out. Attacked by two zombies. And back to the cutscene. Again, not a lot of gameplay. Sorry, I apologize for that. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Look! Personal zombie. Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! Couple zombies. We're trapped! after us right now we can't take risks like this and we can't just let people die either when i say that door stays shut no matter what i fucking mean it we don't know who these people are they could be dangerous worse they could have let them right to us okay, where the hell is your humanity out, lady, they would have died out there kids, chill out, then we let them whoa chill the fuck out lady we're just people trying to avoid those things, just Friendly. like you. Don't come in here and swear at me. I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a, a minute second. Or just I bet go. you would. Here so, at let's go, just go. Kid. Then just go. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to she's control not these people. She's an asshole. Carly, so she's an asshole. just ran out there. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. We well, well, don't have to be right a now. bitch about it. Holy I remember shit. That Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Let's go. Oh, shit. Shit. We let one in, you stupid shits. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. 
No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's him or Doug. Let me him. him. Just go kick his ass. You need to calm down. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, uh, Ken, shut Kenny's the fuck gonna remember out. my loyalty. Nobody's doing anything. Even shut I did up, just toss him under the bus. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. I don't even know how he keeps He's saying. He's not he bitten. Has Please he seen the bite? This. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten Close alive. Dad, get it. It's a big deal. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. No, there's a zombie in there. Hey, I'm not the bad there's guy definitely here. Definitely a zombie I'm just looking there. out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably you pounce on your little just girl. A boy. She'll so turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. And get ready to deal and with it, because that boy again. is bit. Not gonna happen. Here it is. Sticking up for Kenny. And we're tossing him out now! Hit him, Kenny. Stop him. No stop him. Let's go hit him. Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, oh. Jesus! Oh, oh man. Again, nice. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Uh, Everybody down. Stay quiet. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Ah! Was he bitten? What's wrong with him? I told him to calm down. Let's go. Was he? Was bitten? he the one bitten? No. Don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes. We're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Looking for... We'll do it somehow. We'll do it somehow. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're insane. You're insane. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. 
If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. Well, these and I'm Carly. Up. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Now we gotta find this guy's pills. Let's see here. Now they're in the pharmacy. We there can't let anything pharmacy. happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Well, there it is. But all we can do is look at the gate. The pills are in there. Yeah, they are in there. How do we get back there? Energy bar there. Talk to these people. Just open the office door. Alright, well, uh, that's probably what I'm going to end this part of our walkthrough. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you really liked the video, maybe leave a like, comment, uh, or subscribe. Thanks.